Hi, welcome to Muscoot Storytime. My name is Mary, and today we're out here reading Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboards and the cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie and the bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hair hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says hair. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger, he's got even more. Brr, says Badger, as he chomps inside. He sets down his pole and smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts, let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl with raven and wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. And the bear says, wait. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. And you don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend bear. They pass around platters, they tweet, and they chatter and they all say thanks thank you for listening to the story and we hope to see you again soon